All right. Today's project's going to be a birdhouse. We're going to get rid of another old barn board. This, some of it's kind of kind of junk. But we got some nails in here. I'm going to pull them out. And then I'll rip it down to uh, probably six inches would probably be a good size. Got to excuse the mess. That's the main reason I'm building all this stuff is to free up, free up space and clean this place up. There we go. Guess it will be at the right angle. The angle of the dangle. Alright, now we'll go rip this thing down. Alright, here we go. So my plan is to build this for a chickadee. I got my place is in Upper Michigan and there's tons of chickadees around. So the plans I found online for a chickadee house show the front of a square box being 8 inches. So I went up and I'm going to mark a line or I already did I should say at 8 inches. And then I'm going to go through and I want some kind of unique shape. So I'm going to go like that. Bring it down. And that's my shape. So I'll go cut that out or get it ready to cut. And then I'll be back. All right, my thoughts were I was sitting there looking at this, and I think I'll try and cut both at one time. I don't know if my little cheap bandsaw will uh, make that cut, but I'm going to try. And I'm thinking I'm going to put a screw in to hold these two pieces together. All right, seems pretty solid. Alright, we got a pretty decent little blade tension set up here. I will see if this little girl can do it.
One down. I got these pieces and I got two eight inch side pieces so I'm thinking this one kind of got to pick the front one um, probably this one and then we'll go like this I don't need to stack on that but I'm thinking what I'm going to do, boy the lighting here sucks, I'm sorry about that. Maybe I can uh, come up with something better. Um, if I stand over here does it help? A little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some glue on here. And little glue, well, I'll wait on that one for a second. And we'll take that. And we'll just line her up. So she's on there good. squirt it out there all right now some glue on that get that lined up Nice and flush. All right. Uh, see, we got a little overhang there. I'll take care of that with a sander. Then let's get the back on. Get a little bit of glue on her. this one up all right I'm gonna get that all lined up yeah that's good right there I went and I had uh, that old building had siding like this on it about yay thick so I went and I ripped it down into one and three quarter inch chunks and if you notice this sides cleaned up because I run it through uh, the thickness planer just so it had a consistent thickness and I went to the to small side because if you look at these 
you know, it was it was regular old siding. So I made it all as thick as the thinnest end. And then I took, and these are one and three quarter wide. So I went and I put a line at an inch and a half spacing going up my curves. So when I stick these on, it should, in theory, make it a little easier to line it up. So I had decided this was going to be my front. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start sticking these on. I'm going to stick a little glue in there. Now, mind you, I've never built one like this before. I haven't even been uh, doing any woodworking lately. I just decided to try and get into it, so my skills are <laughs> beginner level. A little bit of that spread around. All right. So we'll stick the first one on. Now I'm thinking I want overhang on the front and I want it flush on the back. And I'm going to try and keep the nails to where they'll be covered up by the next nail. And these are little brads I'm using. I'm hoping the, the glue does most of the holding. Not too shabby. Okay, let's see how this looks. We're going to see it together, actually. Now, there ain't very much glue contact there, is what I'm noticing. So, it makes me wonder, do I want to... Am I better off going like this, without the overhang? Which changes it up a little bit. God, I really don't want no leaks, though. Hmm. Because if I go like that, I got a little air gap there. You know what? Yep. I'm going to put a little bead of glue on there to hold these two together. And I'm going to stick it like this. And hopefully that glue will be kind of some water protection, too. Now I wonder if I shouldn't use more than one nail when I'm sticking them in. I don't know, the glue's kind of... glue's holding her good. Get a little bit of glue on this. I actually kind of like that. So, I'm gonna nail it down. Yeah, the nails aren't long enough to get me in the fingers, so. And then that nail didn't go in all the way, so what we're gonna do is give them a little tap. A little tap. All right. 
So we got a front. Okay. Now let's do this side. So what we'll do is we'll put some glue on like we did on the other side. Alright, let me get this lined up here. Peace. Be honest with you. I'm going to be just as surprised as you at where the top piece ends. Because now that I've uh, kind of changed the design here. Or the original, the original thought I had. I am not a hundred percent sure. there all right Ooh, glue all right So now, what we're looking at is we got a little, we got a little odd piece here. So now I have to determine how we're going to plug that little odd piece. We're going to have to think about this for a second. That's probably just as good. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's see, I'm going to keep her around there so I have enough.
Now person wants to make sure when you're nailing that you're nailing so you're going into the, the sides because those are a little longer nails there and you don't want any nails in by that bird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some quick little drill holes just so when I go to hang it and I'm using screws I have some holes available to me. So usually what I do or what I'm going to do I guess so I got uh, this thing six inches wide so I'm going to put my tape measure here and three is the center so I'm going to go two and a half three and a half and I'll do a second set two and a half go up a little bit and I'll drill them all the way through There, and when it comes time, I can just slam some screws in there. There. So this is what we got. Alright, I made a few changes after sitting and thinking about it. Added a little fake little door and a fake little window to the front. The white stuff on the edge is just a glue. It'll dry, dry clear. And then I modified the top here before by adding two little strips to give it a better give it a cleaner angle and then if you notice alongside the inside there I added a little trim I thought that I thought that made it look a little better but there that's the finished finished birdhouse here